Welcome back to Morning Markets on Friday the 4th of June. George Bell here, investment analyst, to bring you up to date on the key market events over the last 24 hours. Two pieces of economic news which I'll focus on this morning, both US focused, but I will also compare with the UK, Europe and China. One being the improving trend in US initial jobless claims, the second being the ISM purchase and managers data from the services side of the economy. Starting off with the initial jobless claims, it was encouraging to see initial claims from US citizens for unemployment support coming down a further 20,000 week on week to a level of 385,000. For context, this is the lowest reading since March 2020, so pre-pandemic, but remains elevated above what's considered a normal level of around 250,000. Nearly 7 million people were um, on initial claim support at the peak of the pandemic. If we look at the four-week moving average to gauge if this is a trend or if it's a one-off, we can see a positive trend form, and as the four-week average was some 30,500 lower. Whilst headlines will focus on those claiming for the first time, it's important to note that According to the latest report from the U.S. Department of Labor, 15 million U.S. citizens are currently receiving support in some form, either replacing income or assisting income on an ongoing basis. So whilst this is a significant number, this too is demonstrating improvement. It's 366,000 down on the previous week, and it's at a level which is roughly half that of this time last year. We'll get a fuller jobs report today coming through uh, from the U.S., which we'll cover off in morning markets next week. The second aspect being U.S. service PMI results. Chris highlighted the results from the manufacturing side on Wednesday, which demonstrated expansion sitting at 61 spot two from 60 spot seven in April. For a quick reminder, a number above 50 is demonstrating expansion in order activity, investment in machinery, employment, goods orders and so on. But what many firms are demonstrating is pricing pressures as demand is is outstripping supply at this point in time. A theme which is not immune to the US, Jeff noted on Tuesday, similar challenges within China. On the service side of the economy, including construction, transportation, lease and education, financial services and so on, the US PMI number increased to 64 in May of 2021, up from 62 spot 7 in April. This not only beat analyst expectations of 63, but it also represents the strongest reading since the ISM survey began back in 1997. Looking at the component parts, the numbers, the areas which you see in the greatest rate of change are order backlogs and prices, which is really demonstrating those supply chain pressures at this point in time, given demand levels. Using the ISM PMI results for the UK and Europe, Similar levels in terms of the the magnitude of jumps, you see in a level of around 62 spot 9 for the UK, higher than expectations and pointing to the fastest rate of output growth in some 24 years, and up to 55 spot 2 from 50 spot 5 in Europe. Whilst the Kaijin Services PMI data from China, which was the first economy out of the pandemic, demonstrated some softening in the index, but still above that level of 50 demonstrated expansion. So that came in at 55 spot 1 down from 56.3. As we look ahead today, the jobs report is one key data point which we'll be looking to. Also looking for signs of developments in the discussions between G7 finance ministers, which will take place in London today, where they'll discuss the proposal from the US for a global minimum tax rate. Thank you for watching. We look forward to bringing you up to date next week on Morning Markets. Subscribing to True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to your YouTube app on your phone, type in True Potential and press the red subscribe option. You'll then be notified as and when new videos are released.